Good morning, so we're just in our hotel about to go out and grab some breakfast. That's Stephen in the background. Mm -hmm. On YouTube, of course. Yeah. So we're just about to leave. We're going to grab some breakfast and then head onto our water bus to get to the stop for our Lakes of Italy tour. I'm excited. I think he's distracted by his cartoon. Also, so I'm whispering because I don't want to wake anyone up, but I need to mention that the grandmas next door were rowdy as fuck last night. <laughs> There's four grandmas next door to us. Grandma, I don't know what they were doing. Grandmas go wild. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, okay. Excited? Oh, yeah, it's such a beautiful, lovely, sunny day to be going out exploring the landscapes, the mountain scenery. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm really excited because I feel like as if we're going to be able to see quite a lot today. I'm uh, sure it will get better yeah, as the yeah, day gets yeah. on. <laughs> So we just arrived at the first spot and it's freezing. I regret not wearing leggings. It is so pretty. We're just in a van and we're gonna spot it and we're gonna stop at a number of stops along the way. We're just off to find a photo spot, which is meant to be 70 meters this way. Don't really see anything. I, Which side? I feel like as if he said pizza. Maybe he like did. He, I feel like as if he said there's a good pizza spot. Yeah, so I don't think there's anyone our age on this tour, but I find that's kind of common. Most people our age are still backpacking. Um, I think most of the people are about 30, at least. And there's a bunch of, I think maybe Korean tourists. Good view. It's yes, alright, not too bad. A little cloudy, so... Um, I'm going to use my Got Deep Powers and move these clouds. Really? Is it working? They're moving, very slightly. <laughs> very, very slightly. Not as fast as what I want though. We're just going to go to the cafe and use the bathroom and then I think we're hopping back on the van. <laughs> the top of the Dolomites, just behind me. <coughs> Stephen's taking a picture. Do you think you'll get a good picture from here? <laughs> <laughs> After this we're just going to go and get some lunch near Lake Miserina. Are you hungry, Stevie? Yes. Mm -hmm. Just demolishing all this bread, all these breadsticks. We free breadsticks. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> no. I want one. Back. No. All for Stevie. <laughs> Ravioli with mushrooms and spazla with some beans or something. Some beans yeah. and speck. How's the ravioli? Mm, it's nice. It's been a long time since I've actually had ravioli. I'm going to try this one. Close your eyes.
vlog last night but we were super tired um so we this was the one thing we I really wanted to do when we got to Italy and that was you know to explore the lake I really wanted to look around Lake Miserina so I'm so glad we did this um one thing I've been thinking about lately is just how much Stephen's doing something weird with his head He's not my boyfriend. Um, Half the time. Even better, you're my fiance. Half the time during videos, I'm doing weird stuff like that. So I'm surprised you can maintain your focus. So anyway, um, when we took our first big trip, which was to Central America, it was backpacking. Like it was really fun. It was so much fun. But this trip has just made me realize how much you should actually take enough money to do activities when you were traveling because yeah it's fun being in another country but sometimes you know you want to actually do things that you have to pay for like taking a segway tour that was amazing like we never would have done that backpacking mm -hmm. and that was one of that was maybe the highlight of the things we did in Florence yeah yeah definitely it was so much fun and the same with this trip we never would have done this if we were backpacking because we would have been too conscious about money but this was, it was just a really great tour. So, yeah. I'm going to put a link to the two companies that you can do this tour with. Um, the two that I know of that we chose between were Viator and City Discovery. Someone's trying to escape. Uh huh, I'm always escaping. So those are the two tour companies we've used like in the past. If you're traveling, like save that extra bit of money so you can actually do activities in the places you're in. Like even if you have to work for an extra like three or six months so you can do a whole bunch of fun activities. You know, it's just a lot more fun traveling when you can do like really fun things in the places you're in rather than just being there. Okay, so I'm going to end the vlog here and I'll see you next time. So will Steve, but he's gone outside to do Stephen things. Okay, bye. Just feeling.